Uh, good evening everyone. Uh, I have just taken a, a little sneak away in the rowing boat to get up the river for some peace and quiet, apart from the dog who's swimming around and uh, could get a bit noisy, but um, I've got some teenage lads having a sleepover tonight, so can't guarantee no interruptions at home. Uh, some of you have been uh, asking me uh, by email about the map project and uh, just what it is. So this is just a quick message to um, kind of fill you in a quick synopsis of the map project. About this time last year I started writing a few songs. Um, these were inspired by miracles and parables and stories in the Bible. And around the same time I seem to have conversations with individuals and the phrase, I feel so lost, kept cropping up. People just volunteered this information and sometimes these were people who have had kind of a church background um, and other times it was individuals who have never had any kind of encounter with God on any real level. And. Uh, and so, as I considered the, the, the songs that I was writing, um, I'm wondering just how I kind of package, put together parables and miracles. And uh, one day I was driving my car and, uh, and I was just asking God, just what do I do with this? And I kind of sensed that sort of inner voice saying, switch it around. And uh, parables and miracles became miracles and parables. And I immediately thought of the word map. And uh, that kind of made sense to me. Uh, it's Jesus who said, I'm the way. And so songs uh, that are about encounters with him uh, just seem to fit with the idea of it being a map. So um, I'm being engulfed by a tree here. <laughs> the problem with rowing is that you don't, that you don't see where you're going. Uh, so that's become the concept um, for the project and people have asked me is it going to be an album uh, I don't know that depends uh, I'm kind of just starting off with a few songs which I have produced already um, two of them we have uh, worked on a video with the musicians uh, so um, I'm gonna release probably a song at a time and see how that goes and possibly after the summer uh, put together a crowdfunding uh, project to uh, try and finish off uh, the other songs uh, so that there might potentially be a map album. Um, albums nowadays are kind of costly business for artists and bands who have a relatively small following and when you've got a mailing list that's less than 10,000 um, you kind of have to be realistic. Uh, and also when you are not, um, when you don't want to be out touring and doing lots of gigs, um, then that's also a limitation. So trying to work within those limitations and develop the songs this way, um, that's how it's going to go. So I will keep you posted, uh, keep an eye out for uh, the songs uh, as they are released and um, if you like the songs then share them, share them with other people and uh, try and increase the reach of the map. Uh, so anyway thanks for taking the time to listen and uh, I will keep you posted.